So I just received an email. Is this real? Yeah, baby. <laughs> they have confirmed that I have been booked onto another flight on the 16th of June. Hi, cutie pie. Hi, Good morning, darling. Good morning. So I'm packing my bag. S ready to go. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, no. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mom? Helping. Helping with what? Dar darling, darling, darling. Darling, 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 what are you doing? Unpacking. Unpacking? No, I'm packing, I said, not unpacking. But you're, you're not leaving. Why not? Because I don't want you to. Oh, babe. I'm so, uh, ba babe. Babe, babe. Okay. <laughs> They're coming for you because I told them you're not leaving. Oh, really? Okay, darling, darling, darling. I need to pack, okay, because I need to leave. But guess what? Guess what? You're coming to the UK in like less than three weeks. I see that smile. So we'll go in three weeks. You don't have to. Uh, leave. Excuse me. None of that. My flight is booked for today. I need to leave. Okay, darling. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap, she says. It's, excuse me. I see that hand. You're crazy. No. 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 Naughty. I have a good idea. You have a good idea? I take this shirt and you spray it in your cologne and I wear it to the airport. Is that a heck yeah? Uh, it's no. a heck yeah, girl. <laughs> Blue de Chanel. A Blue de Chanel, actually. Spray the pillow as well. Yes, darling. Thank you. It's happening. I'm not even putting makeup on because I know I'm going to cry it off. Oh, baby. Yeah. Don't say that. Baby. It's okay, my darling girlie. Hey. Hey, look up. It's like three weeks. Yeah? Wait, so, right, come here. A quick hug before we leave, yeah? Are you going to make my shirt soaking wet? <laughs> no. No. Mm. Oh, darling girl. You made my chinny a little bit wet. Wasn't you? Good thing I did put eyeliner on. Yeah. You're not going to break up with me yet, yeah, <laughs> Please don't. Never. Breaking news, she's breaking up with me at the airport, guys. She hates me. <laughs> You're so weird. I'm cancelling my flight. Peace. What would you do if you found out my first flight? Actually, I cancelled it myself just because I couldn't bear to be away from you for another couple of days. Very happy. You'd be very happy. Very, very happy. This is the third bracelet I bought Monica that is broken. I'm so sorry. It's like It's like the Infinity logo. It's just like bad luck for us. these. When it's made out of that, uh, it, like, yeah, it just yeah, yeah. breaks. Right, car's all loaded up, baby. I love you. Thank you so much for having me to stay. Anytime. See you soon, devil child. You know I'll actually miss you sometimes. Melly said. Melly's like, don't go. Right. She's like, I'm just going to look cute and hope for the best. <laughs> oh! Oh. oh. <laughs> How you doing, baby? How long left have we got? Like half hour. Half an hour. We've got someone back there was meant to keep Monica company. Thank you. 
งเลยก็ต้องใครฮะให้วันใครอ๋อไม่จ่ายเงินดีเขาก็เขาก็ Secondary tears all over me. <laughs> See, the thing is, Mon's like the most emotional person ever, aren't you, darling? I'm like the least emotional person ever. <laughs> Obviously, I'm like super sad, and I don't want to leave her. But you're the one that actually expresses your emotions, aren't you? <laughs> and this is an example of how I get cheated, guys. <laughs> Hashtag justice for Liz. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble. You did? Yeah. <laughs> so call the driver. I was like, <laughs> call? Uh, call the driver when your phone was on the seat the entire time. <laughs> so I pretended to. Great. You're still beautiful. You just look like a raccoon a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> so I've got through security now and checked in and I'm waiting. Actually, it was the fastest check-in thing I've ever done in my life. I've got about three hours or so into my flight now. Just chilling out, gonna FaceTime some friends, gonna get a snack, all that kind of stuff, and then fly home, fortunately. Hey guys, so please excuse my whole look right now. My makeup is everywhere and I just look like a absolute mess, but I don't care. This is to really show you guys what it's like after leaving each other. I don't know what Sam is going to be filming. I'm very, very sad as you can tell from those clips. It's just so hard like leaving the person that you literally like want to spend the rest of your life with and it's so annoying that we have to do this. We were saying in the car how we we can't wait for the day where we don't have to do it like where we can actually just live together and be like taking the next step and stuff so i'm not very happy today but i thought i would just try to make myself very busy that's a big tip from me to you try and keep yourself really busy because if you just sat there then you're going to think about how sad you are so i'm taking my two doggies melly who's under bentley over there and bentley who's that one i'm taking them to the dog park because they love it and it makes them happy and when they're happy i'm happy so i thought i'd do that and keep myself busy and try to not think about how sad i am so we're going to the dog park and we'll see where the day goes from there something that's super embarrassing is i have to sleep with my light on now i cannot sleep in the dark without sam it's really weird i never had that before sam and i started dating like i was always fine in the dark but ever since we started dating i just hate being alone at night so i'm gonna be sleeping with my neon lights on tonight so can't wait for that so i'm on the plane now as you can see uh just about to take off conveniently i managed to choose which seat i wanted so we've got a free seat next to me but still it's gonna be eight hours of Misery. <laughs> uh, if only I was in Monica's position right now at the dog park with Bentley. This, this sounds really weird as I've only been without Monica for like two hours now, but honestly, I miss her already, and it's the weirdest thing to say, I know, but it's crazy. Like, we literally used to spend, when we're together, and we're together for like two months at a time, we're used to spending 24 7 together. So I don't think it's the fact that I really genuinely miss her yet, it's the fact that I'm kind of, you know, my body and my mind are kind of, you know, I, I realize that I'm not going to see her for X amount of time. It's sad. So I'm finally home and this is what I come home to. It smells like him. Like it smells exactly like him. Is that creepy? <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally look like a monster. My eyes are so black. I'm gonna do some work now. I don't know if I said it in another video, but I started a new business, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work with that and see how that goes. Hey guys, it is currently 10.30 at night. I'm getting ready for bed. I still am sitting next to this. I have been basically all day long. That probably sounds so creepy, but I really don't care. I already have my neon lights on because I have so much trouble sleeping at night. 
when Sam's not here, I don't know what it is, but I just do. Um, I've been tracking Sam's flight. Let's see where he currently is. In two and a half hours, he will be arriving in Germany. And then he has another two hour flight after that. I'm just probably gonna try and take a nap now and see how the rest of the night goes, but I'm not looking forward to it tonight. I will see you guys soon. Okay, finally, after 17 and a half hours of traveling, I'm finally back in the UK with my Popsy and his new car. Yay! Gonna go home now and basically try not to pass out. Monica's full on asleep back in New York right now. Chili! Oh, she's interested in food. She doesn't. Hi, mummy! Hello! Hi! Oh. <laughs> it's, it's fine, like, I haven't oh, seen no. her in like. Two months or so. It's, it, okay, go to dad instead. It's it's, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it, Tilly. Like, I'm just I'm just sitting here waiting to, waiting to to be loved. You know. Okay, then you go to bed. Oh, okay, finally you come to me. Hey yo! My gorgeous girly. How beautiful she is. So I'm back home now, back in England, and I've got a new bedding. That's one thing. But yeah, I'm super tired. I haven't slept in. I don't want, I don't, I can't even work it out. Hours and hours and hours. I didn't sleep at all last night and I only slept for like three hours a night before and the night before that as well. And then also I just got home and found out that something's wrong with my car. Uh, I need to get a new battery, I think. So I'm going to, I'm trying to force myself to stay awake because I want to try and get back into the British time zone as soon as possible. Like I don't want to be going to sleep at 5am and waking up at midday or 2pm or, or whatever. So I'm trying to force myself to stay awake. I've been messaging Monica a bit. Monica's been an absolute cutie. She always tries to stay awake. I mean, she always falls asleep, but she wakes up like two hours later, like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I've fallen asleep. And I'm like, Mon, it's like 3 a.m. Just, just sleep already, please. So she's been an absolute cutie, like messaging me nonstop and all that kind of stuff. I think she's finally gone to sleep now. Yeah, like three weeks ago, and then I finally get to see her again because I, I, it sounds weird, but I miss her already. It's really weird. I'm not used to sleeping alone. Like I've got this whole bed to myself, and I'm like, I don't want it to myself. I want someone to cuddle.